Back in the kitchen again. I thought this week we'd do something with bread. Wait, what? You don't have any yeast? Hmm. You have flour though, right? Okay, that's all we need to worry about. Let's make Irish soda bread. How's it gonna turn out? It's gonna turn out something like this. I'm Sean in Alaska. This is how you make traditional Irish soda bread. Something I should say to start everything off, when you make this bread, what you're really going to want to use is a pastry flour if you can find one. Um, and I know that they're kind of difficult to come by in your average everyday grocery store. So you can use all-purpose flour if you want. It's got 11.7% protein in it, and that's kind of high. What you're going to end up with is more of a bread when you're done. The key would be to actually use half this, the all-purpose flour, and half cake flour. And what you're going to end up with then is pastry flour. I mean, basically, it'll be a lower protein much nicer flour to work with when you're done. Um, you can also Google how to make pastry flour or what to use instead of pastry flour. And when I did that, I also came across uh, two thirds of a cup of flour, all purpose flour, I believe, and a tablespoon of cornstarch. Go ahead and Google that. And that'll let you know, everybody's pretty much got cornstarch in their house. So if you can't find cake flour, that's the either, other way to do it. You can use the all purpose flour. Don't get me wrong. Avoid real heavy bread flours, but all purpose flour will work just fine. Let's get started. Okay, get yourself all set up and ready to go here. So for this recipe, we're gonna need four and a half cups of flour. So I have two and a quarter cups of all-purpose and two and a quarter cups of cake flour. Uh, you're gonna need a tablespoon of sugar, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon of soda. I've got those all together right here. You're going to need, for my recipe, one cup of raisins. Um, I put raisins in my Irish soda bread. You can put whatever you want in there. If you like caraway seed, you can put caraway seed in there. If you like cranberries, you can put craisins in there. You could put whatever you would like in here, but stick with the dry fruits. So like a raisins, like dried apricot. Um, don't The real wet fruit will make a, a, a mess when you're trying to mix this thing together. And finally, one and three quarter cups of buttermilk. I'll tell you a trick on the buttermilk. If you Purchase your buttermilk way early and leave it in your refrigerator and let it actually go out of date until it starts to curdle a bit. What you end up with is a heck of a lot more flavor when it's done. And as far as mixing, everything is going to be done by hand in a bowl. All right, there is no mixer required in this whatsoever. Matter of fact, you don't want to use a mixer if you can avoid it. Okay, hopefully we can do this without the camera falling down. Matter of fact, let me turn the other camera on too. Okay, that's in case that one falls down. So really really simple bread to do i'm going to put in the all-purpose flour i'm going to put in the cake flour and i'm going to put in our salt sugar and baking soda it's irish soda bread so it's got to be made with soda if you're not using soda if you're using yeast you're not making irish soda bread just blend that together with a whisk very easily all right, now we know that all of our main core ingredients are blended together. Raisins, pop those in there as well. And again, mix those all together. Okay, that is the last of the equipment you're going to need to mix with because everything else is done with your hands. So I shouldn't have to tell everybody to make sure your hands are washed and clean, especially with 
the emphasis on clean hands. You're going to make a well on the inside of this. You take your buttermilk, pour it into the well, and then mix it together. I should tell you that I've made quite a bit of soda bread in my lifetime. Um, as a baker and a bakery manager for many years in San Francisco, California, every St. Patrick's Day, my bakery would make anywhere from 1,500 to 3,000 loaves of Irish soda bread by hand. Now, I put in the four and a half cups of flour. And at this point, I'm looking at it, I'm saying, okay, we're just a little bit still on the dry side. So, I'd actually bought a pint of buttermilk. And I'm going to add that in right now, the rest of it. And I kind of thought it was going to be one pint of buttermilk when it was done. It should be a wetter dough, a sloppy kind of wet dough. Rinse that. We'll rinse out the buttermilk carton with a little bit of water and get the last of that goodness out of there. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now, you don't really need this bread because it's not a bread dough. But at the same time, you do want to make sure that you're blended together very well. And you want to make sure that everything is incorporated. So even though I said you don't need it, yeah, go ahead and knead it for about two or three minutes. And just blend it together and then we'll show you what you've got when we're done. Okay, we are all mixed together. See what you got there? Nice blob o dough. I really love the raisins in this because I'm a huge fan of raisin bread. It's almost rounded up now, but we're going to lightly dust the table, okay? And then we're going to pop that soda bread out onto the table. And this is just a basic rounding at this point for shape. And then we're going to need something to bake it in. Now, you have your choice here of using, like I said before, you can use a cookie sheet or you can use a 8-inch uh, um, cake pan, pie pan. Um, but you want something with some edges, to be honest with you. I always do anyway. So in this case, what we're going to do, and let me wipe this off so I don't get this all over the bottom of it. In my hand, because when I don't actually show people that I put it in my hand, everybody thinks I sweep it, swept it under the floor. So in this case, I'm going to put it in a cast iron skillet. And it's a cold cast iron skillet. Uh, you know what? Before I do that, and just like that, an epic failure. <laughs> I'm going to lightly dust the bottom of this. Not much. And if you're wondering why I didn't put anything on there like a quick release on the bottom, it's because I actually coat my cast iron skillets in oil when I'm done cleaning them. So we're going to take that and we're going to put that right there. Okay? Now, there's one other thing we have to do to this bread to make it traditional Irish soda bread. For this, you could use a serrated knife, but I'm going to use a bench scraper, right? And I'm just going to cut it, oh, a little bit more than a third of the way down. It's going to do two things. It's going to allow the gases to escape, and it's going to also allow it to cook better in that pan. Now, it's a cold cast iron pan, so while I said it was going to take 35 
well, I don't know if I've even said that yet. We're going to put this in an oven at 425 degrees for 35 to 45 minutes, but we're going to check it. And when we check it, we're going to check it with the old-fashioned toothpick in and out. And when the toothpick comes out clean, you know you're done. Um, we're going to use a cast iron skillet that's cold, so it's going to be a bit uh, longer probably to cook. Just a friendly reminder, don't forget, when you go to pull it out of the oven, that's going to be hot. Use a pan holder. Let's get this in the oven right now. See what we got just pulled it out of the oven so the pan is still extremely hot there you have it Irish soda bread oh that looks yummy that looks so yummy I'm gonna let it cool down just a little bit more and then I'm gonna hit it with some fresh butter maybe a little bit of honey too You know this is my favorite part, right? I mean, this is by far the best part of doing any cooking slash baking videos whatsoever. It's still pretty warm. No sense in burning my hand. Boom. Look at this loaf, huh? Look at the back. Nice little thump thump. serrated knife. Uh, but, uh, uh, let's cut it right down the middle first. Oh, that's going to be good. Uh, it's going to be yummy. And then we'll cut a piece off the end. Not a whole lot of raisins in there. Nice and steamy and warm. Just a little bit of butter. All right, now the taste test. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. That's good stuff. Total time in the oven for this loaf was about 40 minutes. So after it went off after 35 minutes, I went ahead and checked it again. Probably could have done a couple of more minutes on it, um, but I'm going to do something with this bread that most people won't. I'm going to use it and fry it up in the morning and have it for a little snack before I go to work. Take this bread, 
wrap it up in plastic wrap and then aluminum foil and throw it in your freezer. You can cut it in quarters right on the lines where you cut the cross in the beginning. Cut it in quarters and take each quarter and throw it in the freezer if you're not going to go through it that fast. It's only going to last you probably maybe two days, three days on the counter, after which point it'll just be falling apart. So just pull out what you need. Great for breakfast. Yummy, yummy, yummy bread. If you want to see more videos like this, do me a favor. Click that like down below. Click the subscribe. Hit that notification bell to see all the videos I have available and share this with your friends. Um, leave a note in the comments down below if you decide you're going to make this or a variation of it. I would love to see it. There is a link on my main page for, and actually there's a link down in the show notes for Sean in Alaska on Instagram and Facebook. Follow me on Facebook. Share your pictures if you've got them. I'd love to see them. Thanks again, folks. This was just a ton of fun. Oh, and I will have the recipe for this bread down in the show notes below as well. Thanks again. Have a great week, and we'll see you next time on Sean in Alaska. Mm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm.